How doodly do all you fantastic people and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be do doing something a little different here. You know instead of the usual Pokemon card opening I got something a bit different today but where is it? Well yep that's right instead of the usual Pokemon card opening we got a collector's edition of Persona 3 Reload for PS5. Now I actually did play Persona 5 Royal um, uh, when the Collector's Edition first came out for the PS4 a good while back, and it's honestly one of my favorite games of all time now, so I decided to pick this one up. And this box is actually pretty big. Uh, just for comparison, um, uh, here's a Collector's Edition of Persona 5 Royal for PS5, as you can see, and then here's a Collector's Edition of Persona 5, um, uh, yeah, Persona 5 Royal for PS4. And as you can see, they're roughly the same height, but Persona 3 is a bit thicker, probably because this one comes with an um, uh, Igus statue. So this thing is roughly 11 inches tall, about, um, uh, about 7 and 3 fourths wide, and it's about 6 inches thick. And as you can see, we got some nice little information on the back here, what it comes with, an art book. I guess statue, the soundtrack, which I'm really excited about because Persona just always has the best music. Change my mind. That's right, you can't. And some included DLC. As you can see, uh, yep, you'll get um, uh, you also get costumes for um, uh, the cast that makes them look like Phantom Thieves. Now, anyways, let's get into it. So since I am um, uh, open, since I did get this um, uh, Persona 3 Reload. Also expect some content for Persona 3 Reload come soon. Probably a playthrough, actually. And hopefully I'll be able to get that um, uh, get that out here soon. Nicely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And here's the box in all its glory. It's very nice looking. Very nice. Glide this out. Oh, by the way, this isn't sponsored or anything. I mean... <laughs> Who would want to sponsor someone with like 32 subscribers? Come on now. I'm just doing this because I I like Persona. But here we go. Here is the game itself. Yes sir, yes sir. And this must be the codes for the DLC packs. It'll just come on this little um, slip of paper with... If I remember, this is Makoto. Editing me, if I'm wrong, I am sorry. Ah, the Persona 3 Reload soundtrack. Very nice, very nice. And I'm pretty sure this comes with two discs. Ah, the Persona 3 art book. Okay, hold on. I'm going to come over there so I can show you more in depth what the art book's like. Here we go. All the protagonists, weapons. Very nice. We love an art book up in here. And then finally, the Aiga statue itself. Very nice. And there's the Iga statue in all of its glory. Looks really nice actually, yeah. Very nice. I wish the base was a little bit more colorful, but I mean, <laughs> I'm not really picky. For more size comparisons, Deluxe Class Wheeljack, it's actually kind of close to the size of a Deluxe Class Transformer. I'd say it's um, uh, probably closer to a Voyager class. But that's how tall it is. Well, that's basically it for this collector's edition, and it's not bad. So something that makes me sad about this collector's edition is that um, uh, the other collector's edition of Persona Persona games, like, I don't have all of them, of course, but I have Persona 5 Royal for PS4 and Persona 5 Royal for PS5, and both those came with the steelbook, as you can see here. So it is a bit of a bummer that this collector's edition didn't come with the steelbook. So that's pretty disappointing, especially since, um, uh, if I remember correctly, these were all roughly the same, relatively in the same price, price range. And I hope to get Persona 3 Reload content out to you guys soon. Alright, see you later.